right, welcome back to For the Record, everybody. I'm Jesse Weber. I'm here with Anjanette Levy, my co-host, by the way, of the Sidebar Podcast. If you want to follow anything that happens in the Johnny Depp Amber Heard defamation trial, daily recaps, check out the Sidebar Podcast that's co-hosted by both Anjanette and I. First, want to let you know there's a lunch break happening in the Johnny Depp Amber Heard defamation trial. Uh, as soon as we get a live feed back in that courtroom, we will jump back live. We're taking your questions right now during this lunch break on YouTube, Twitch, Twitter, Facebook, email. Send them over to us. We'll answer them in the next maybe 10 minutes or so before they come back. Uh, first question that we keep getting is, why are we here? Why are we in a parking garage? There are severe thunderstorms in the area, so we can't actually be outside of the courthouse like we normally are. Maybe that'll clear up. Maybe we'll actually get to be back out there later on today. Uh, we're just trying to stay safe. But, Ann Jeanette, yes. first question we have is from Kate Pace on Twitter. Okay. Please tell me everything about the jurors' reactions to each lawyer's closing, please, because you were in the courtroom right. today. And that was in all caps, right? That was so in all caps. Important. All caps. Yes, all caps. Okay, so uh, when Camille Vasquez got up to begin her part of the closing argument, uh, the jurors, she said good morning, and they all smiled at her. So uh, it was very interesting. You know, I mentioned earlier she's wearing the white dress. I think it really makes a statement. She, uh, It's very bold. Uh, so I think that they were really paying attention that, to everything she had to say. Other than that, they were pretty stone-faced. There were times where they were looking down, uh, and I think they were looking at those monitors that they have there when some of the text messages were being displayed on the screen. Obviously, we saw the cupboard, uh, the kitchen cupboard, or the kitchen uh, cabinet video again. Um, I, When that started playing, after what we heard from Morgan Tremaine, I don't know if you felt it, but I felt a lot, I, 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 not that I ever really had a feeling about it, it was what it was, mm -hmm. but it made me look at it a little bit differently, having that information about how it came in and with the copyright and how it was approved within 15 minutes. I don't know, it doesn't change the fact of what we saw in the video and he didn't know he was being recorded, so it's, you know, that's that, the way I look well, at that, it, too. The, the fact that he didn't, and then she, it appeared she tried to hide, she put the coffee yep, cup in yep. front, of, it's like she's trying to obstruct his view so of he the- wouldn't see it Yes, that's what I'm saying. Like, yep. it seemed even it seemed even sneakier and even more of a violation. Um, you know, like I know you're engaged. I, you know, we've all been in relationships, right. and that's certainly not something. I've ever done to any of my partners. Well, hopefully I don't experience it anyway as, you know, yeah, as I'm about I'll to get I'll married. I'll talk to your fiance about it. <laughs> so, we're, again, we're taking your questions right now, but to give you, you know, we're all wondering what's in the mind of the jury. Obviously, they're probably going to be considering these closing arguments, the last thing in their mind, the last thing that they hear before they go to deliberate, but you have to also wonder, are they considering Johnny Depp and Amber Heard taking the stand? Give you a sample of this. This is when Johnny Depp was on the stand explaining and responding to the sexual assault allegations. No human being is perfect, certainly not. None of us. But I w have never in my life committed sexual battery, physical abuse, all these outlandish, outrageous stories of me committing these things and living with it for six years and waiting to be able to bring the truth out. So this is not uh, easy for any of us. I know that, but um, uh, No matter what happens, I did get here, and I did tell the truth, and I have spoken up for what I've been carrying on my back reluctantly for six years. All right, Johnny Depp giving one final plea to these jurors before they entered into closing arguments. All right, so, Dina Dahl, we have a question from Luis Sanderson on YouTube. I am from the UK, thank you for watching, and I am confused. If you have freedom of speech, how can defamation exist? Okay, great question. So yes, it's a constitutional right, freedom of speech, but it's, you cannot lie. That's the difference. You can say something that's true, but very bad about the person, right? You can say the worst things about your neighbor. As long as they're true, 
it's it's lawful. It doesn't matter if they lost their job because of it and people hate them because of that. So that's the restriction on the speech. We allow speech, but what you're saying has to be true. Yeah, that's a, that's a really good point, and it's an important distinction to make there. Uh, Catherine Lazardo, we have a question from YouTube from Blue Tilapia. I don't know if tilapia is supposed to be blue. I think no. it's supposed to be white. So it don't is. eat it. Don't eat it. Everyone stay away from that. <laughs> Sounds pretty toxic. It sounds pretty toxic. Uh, Catherine Lazardo, what happens if the jury is hung? Do you repeat the whole thing again in a few months? <laughs> Well, if the jury is hung, uh, most likely before they even get there, the judge will give them an instruction to go ahead and go back and try harder, try to deliberate. But if they're, if they're hung, you know, not, not really. We, we, we won't go back here. It's up to, the, it's up to Amber Heard or Johnny Depp what they want to do in terms of procedurally. But when they're hung, they're, they're going to say um, that, hey, one of the elements were not really... Um, uh, well, here is, let me back up. It's unanimous jury that's needed in Virginia. There's seven jurors. It has to be unanimous. If even one juror says no, then in any of those elements, then uh, whoever they say no to loses. It's either Johnny Depp or Amber Heard. And Catherine Lazardi, you actually answered another one of our followers' questions about whether it has to be unanimous. All right, Anjan, I have a question yes. for you from Twitch. Okay. Never enough kitties. There's never really enough kitties when you really think about it. <laughs> How did you or the courtroom react when Rottenborn, in his closing argument, said the statement that if Amber chopped Johnny Depp's finger off with an axe, that wouldn't matter? I, I was kind of like, really? It wouldn't? I mean, seriously, why do you say it wouldn't? I mean, it right. goes to the whole argument about, I mean, the whole, this is, what, even though this is about defamation, they still have to prove who was the abusive one in this relationship? And who does the jury, they're saying, you know, he's saying this isn't about this and it's not about that, but it kind of is. Because if Johnny Depp is truly a, an abuser, then, you know, he has to prove he's not for his case. And so when he said that, I thought, oh my gosh, yeah, it does matter. So I think everybody's actually been pretty tame today. You know, I, we've talked about this, how sometimes there have been some amusing moments in mm -hmm, this trial mm -hmm. and you have to hold back from laughing because, you know, it's, it's a courtroom, there's decorum. Um, but I think everyone, everybody was kind of like, did he really just say that? Yeah. So anyway, um, you know, I, I think he's, you know, there, I think he's a pretty good lawyer, you know, I, I really do. Um, but when he said that, I think sometimes lawyers, things just fly out of their mouths sometimes during closings or even openings. And then or they, during life. Yeah. yeah, during life or like, internet, like I'm the queen of sticking my foot in my mouth. But anyway, like, you know, I, we, so we all say things where we're right. just like, oh, did I just say that? So maybe he'll go home tonight and think like, did I really say that? Hopefully not when you're in the closing <laughs> argument in a $50 million defamation lawsuit, but you know. Um, um, million. Which, by the way, it was interesting. She said, we're not even looking for $100 million. We'll, yeah, we'll get to that in a... That was interesting, don't yeah, you think? I, 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 I don't know like, why Galen Bernhoff actually said that. Yeah. But, uh, so anyway, okay. first let me tell you, Anjanette, you do have a fan. This oh, is from uh, nice, Robbie Carb 6 Why is Anjanette the best? Love her. You're, you're cool too, <laughs> Weber. All right. Sorry. Yeah, let's say the humidity is taking a toll on my hair today. It's fine. This is a it's hot fine. Mess. Jesse's super fashionable for the field. I, so. What can Maybe I say? That's just you know, like here. I okay. always have to wear suits every day. <laughs> so um, you're very sweet. Dina, I have a question for you. Um, this is actually, you know, the, a strategic question that we're dealing with because of the time limits that people have a lot of questions about. This is from Hello Kitten 1269 on YouTube. Sorry, my name isn't hedgehog related because I do like those names. But <laughs> what would be the most logical move for Amber's team to really? utilize the six minutes that they have left. Oh, yeah. That's a great point. I think their best argument is that the statements were not about Johnny Depp. And we saw Rottenberg kind of uh, allude to that, that this only had to do with how this affected her. And you know what? It's actually a pretty strong argument. There's a reason that she hired a private attorney to try to draft it. There's a reason the ACLU tried to draft it. They all knew a defamation was on the table. So I think that's their strong amount, strongest argument. I would keep going to that, that whether or not he was an abuser is not what this is about. It's about the fact that after she accused him of it, she became a public pariah, which is true. She did become a public pariah. Yeah, um, and Jeanette, we have a question from Joanna Gee on YouTube. Mm -hmm. Can the jurors ask questions in regards to any concerns or doubts that they might have? For example, why does Amber Heard's cut present nearly all of the photos submitted as evidence? Can that be seen as pictures being a setup? 
Ooh, that's a good question. And we we actually, there are quite a, I think there are a couple photos. There may even be one of the bedroom next to the nightstand that has one of those Infinitum Nile, uh, I hope I'm pronouncing that properly, I think I am, um, coffee cups there. Mm -hmm, so mm -hmm. maybe they just had a bunch sitting around the house. I don't know. But the thing that, and I hate to bring this up, but I, does any, I mean, so apparently, and you, you people on social media brought this to my attention, apparently you can snort cocaine with a tampon applicator. Did you see that sitting there? I also bet you I never thought wanna, that sentence would come out of your I mouth ever did. in There life, are a lot of things that I've tweeted and never said until on television until now, but hey, um, when in Rome, right? Right. So, um, but, you know, I don't know if I really see Johnny Depp snorting. Is but, a man going to use a, 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 is a man going to use a tampon applicator to snort cocaine? Oh, and I have news about the, 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 you remember the box of cocaine? Yes. So apparently, guys, this is some news. I didn't put it out there because I was trying to get this story. There's this guy named Sterling Assault, and he put it on Instagram. He designed that box. Oh, really? It's for jewelry. It's you, you, for an eyeball pendant. You know what's interesting is if it's people are watching the trial, yeah. they've been coming out and, and <laughs> There's commenting. There's all this stuff coming out, people right? Seen it. Well, like, like um, you know, like, uh, I'm forgetting, Morgan Knight, who came forward right, and, and right. commented on it. But he just, they, they said he wanted 15 minutes of fame. Yeah, well, or, no, that was that was the uh, the other, that was the TMZ No, guy. it was both of them, wasn't was it? Morgan, Morgan Tremento? And they both wanted to be, and then yesterday, Amber called it the Johnny Depp show. She, that's right. That's right. Exactly right. Okay. All right. So I just right. got word we can jump live right now. We're going to ba back to the closing arguments in the Johnny Depp Amber Heard defamation trial. Thank you so much for the questions, everybody.